hello now in this video we are going to see how to create an item so to create an item so uh, if you wanted to create an item uh, we will we have to maintain uh, some securities at the level of organization so inventory organization okay so we have to maintain organization securities I will tell you what does it mean exactly. Okay, so which means that let me explain you clearly the process of it. Okay, uh, let's say we have an inventory. Okay, one inventory we have uh, under that. Uh, let's say let uh, let us consider one retail uh, shop like Spencer or so D Mart or uh, whatever it may be Metro. Okay, let's consider D Mart. So under the, in the DMART, uh, we have different types of categories for there, like electronics and baby products and uh, we have uh, different kinds of uh, categories for the baby products, food and beverages. Okay, like that we have lot of things of clothing okay uh, we have lot of things were there so this each and every item uh, I mean each and every category we have to create uh, that what we call it as item class we have to define item class okay so uh, but here by we creating item class itself we have to maintain it inventory organization security like uh, i will tell you see uh, now in the dmart uh, we have different types of categories uh, were there for the products uh, so each and every category is maintaining by only one manager or different different managers uh, are there that we have to first define like uh, electronics is maintained by one employee and baby products are uh, maintaining by another manager or employee food and beverages is different user okay so the different users are maintaining by different categories okay so but for all of these uh, users we should have to create a root item class root item class is different i mean uh, root item class is the top one Okay, so under root uh, we should have to create a different different item classes. Okay, so for that let me tell you here we have user one. Okay, user two and user three. Okay, so this user one is going to maintain it. Let me create uh, okay. this user is maintaining electronics category under which inventory organization under uh, BT Learn I created right. I am taking just our uh, master uh, class okay, master inventory organization. So, under master inventory organization and then what are the privileges to access this okay like we have a privileges like a read i mean read create delete and edit all crud operations okay let's uh, explain all this clearly uh, explain. see this one uh, electronics uh, we have right this is a item ca category and the item class we can define it as and this is like i inventory organization and these are the privileges which means that user one is having privileges for creating item class under btl and master organization okay under master organization only he can be able to create or edit or delete this item class okay 
uh, I mean items. Uh, we can define under item class any uh, uh, how to uh, restrict the items. Uh, I mean what are all the privileges we are giving. And based on that, we can restrict again. Okay. So we use it to is going to maintain by baby product. I mean so use it to is going to yeah maintain by baby products and same master I am going to give and here I have just given read and uh, delete okay just it is as per your business requirement you can give your privileges okay and user 3 we can define it as root item class which means that this user 3 can be able to create all uh, I mean uh, here privileges let's say all read, create, uh, edit and delete okay so all the privileges I am giving for this root item class user 3 under which organization master organization only okay master remember you can give as per the requirement so here user 3 I am defining it as root item class so uh, any item class he can under any item class he can create but inventory organization should be master and any kind of operation he can uh, perform okay so as we have given all so like this we have to define a inventory organization securities and the privileges and item classes now what we are going to see is we are going to create an item classes so how to create an item classes once you log in you go to setup and maintenance and then here click on product management okay under product management we have a item classes see items here we have manage item classes click on that or you can directly search it, manage item classes in the search bar see here by default whenever you are trying to create an item class which means the category so it will comes with the root item class okay by default but these many categories item classes won't be there in your real time instance because uh, this is a demo instance uh, we have uh, all the example like seafood and beverages fitness and health uh, electronics so there are different kinds of item classes already defined uh, now what we are going to see under root item class i am going to create a new item class which is uh, let me create item class i'm going to create bt learn okay uh, item class like this i am creating just for my purpose for my understanding purpose and to refer, take the reference i just given this name okay item class like this i put it now save and close save and add details both were there so if you just uh, save and close it will save again you can edit or else you can directly click on save and add details so here you can be able to add a security uh, security and there are a lot of uh, attributes we can define and there are a lot of things were there see here uh, yeah now we have to define a security go to security here you see here security we can define how many ways there are two ways were there i will tell you so those two are either you can define based on group or uh, in person. So group means based on job role we can define. Like uh, here I am going to give product manager role I am going to say. Product manager job role I am going to give here. See this product manager job role under this job role what are the users are allocated for all those group of people uh, they all can be able to create an item class uh, okay uh, under this item class they can be able to create an items okay so that is the reason and the inventory organization 
you can select whether it is member or master master i am going to select here see here the meaning of this security is what so whoever is yeah, whoever the users are allocated to this product manager job role those people can be able to create an items under bt learn item class under master inventory organization this is the meaning of this security okay so this is what uh, one record we have created and we have we can create another record let me create another one see uh, i'm going to create in person so for my user let me take this user itself self user and take. search my user a tutorial right tutorial dot bt learn i given so yeah so this is the user and organization master i'm going to give see this this is what the meaning is uh, this user can create an items under the master item I mean under this item class under master inventory organization he can be able to create an items okay so this is the meaning of this security okay so now just save it this is how you create a security maintain a security now we have to assign a privileges like create update edit delete these privileges are there right so those uh, under this you can have an uh, actions here you just select and add click on that okay so here you select okay just search search here we have lot of uh, uh, i mean privileges are there edit delete maintain item maintain item metric group there are lot of privileges are there see read delete update everything is there if you want you can uh, select this intersect and you can apply click on apply and then okay so like this you have to add an actions so the product manager also we haven't given our role. now i am going to give privileges under the product manager role. so uh, yes the product manager we are going to add a privileges select and add so let me open that window then we can create we can provide a privileges uh, just search I'm just trying to give you can give any only uh, I mean a few options or I mean few options or you can give all uh, right now I'm giving all the privileges okay yeah now so what we have done with we have created an item class okay and we have created security at the level of person also job role uh, which means the product role, manager is the job role uh, and also we have provided a privileges for each and every uh, role or person now click on save and close this is how we have created a see we have created an item class so you just see here we have created the item class and we have here defined security as well defined security at uh, under security we have defined a person or a group uh, okay group means job role like product manager like that and person means user a product manager inventory manager whatever it may be you can do any role just i given product manager 
So this is the thing which we completed as of now. Now we have to assign the job roles. Assign the job roles. So what is the job role we have given? Product manager. So you can define any uh, that job role. So assign the job roles to the users. How to give it? Let's see. Now, um, yeah. Now click on done here. So here, what you have to do? You have to go to financials. This financials. Yeah, financials. Yeah. Manage job roles. You can directly go to the navigation or you can search these other users and security. We have a job roles. So now I click on manage job roles. Let's see how it will open. Uh, you just have to select users. So I'm going to select my user. Uh, which is PT Learn or Tutorial, right? Tutorial, just searching user. So, yeah, this user, you just click on this. See here, he already allocated application implementation consultant and IT security manager role. For this, click on edit. Now we have to add product manager role. So, here, add role, connect. Here, type product manager role. So, here, a lot of uh, roles are there. You have to select with Ora, which is started in Ora. Just click on this, add role number shift, and done. See here, we have added. Now, save and close. This is how we have to click on that. We have to assign job roles to the user.